Dates are said to be nature's candy. So let's make a delicious and fun, super easy recipe today using the sweetness of dates. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we get together every week in the kitchen. We create delicious and nutritious recipes to keep you inspired all year long. Today, we're going to be making easy stuffed dates. Let's begin by taking our large medjool dates, slicing them lengthwise, and then removing the pit. Only cut through half of the date so that we create a pocket for our fillings. Repeat this with all 15 dates. Now we are ready to make our fillings. I'm going to be making three different kinds today. The first two are going to be sweet and the third will be savory. For our first filling in a small bowl, add in three tablespoons of either peanut butter, almond butter, or tahini. You can use crunchy or creamy, just depending on your preference. The second filling is three tablespoons of creamy or crunchy cashew butter. For our spices, I am using three quarter of a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon and one quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom. Mix together your spices really well. Add half of your spices to your first filling and the other half to your cashew butter filling. Stir the spices well into each of your fillings. And now we are ready to fill the dates. Scoop about one and a half teaspoons of your cashew butter filling into five of the sliced dates. It's really not an exact science, so just have fun with it. You'll notice my cashew butter is pretty thick, so I'm able to shape it pretty easily with my hands. My peanut butter filling, on the other hand, is not as thick, so I'm just going to scoop it into each of the dates. You'll notice that I am leaving the dates partially open for our topping. To top these fun treats, I am adding three chocolate chips to each date. You could also chop up some dark chocolate, about two tablespoons worth, and use that for a topping instead. For our last filling, take two tablespoons of goat cheese in a small bowl and to it I'm going to add one tablespoon of either pure maple syrup or honey. Stir this together really well and then scoop this savory filling into the last five dates. Again, I'm adding about one and a half teaspoons worth for each date. And this one I'm going to top with some pistachios, but you could also use walnuts. And that is it. They are ready to eat. It is taste test time. And I have a huge treat for you today. I actually got my two oldest boys to get on here with me. They used to come on here all the time when they were smaller, but this is huge. So Jeremy is going to be trying the peanut butter one, Nathan is going to try the cashew butter, and I am doing the goat cheese. Cheers. 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 Mmm, I love the creaminess of the goat cheese. It is perfect and nice, savory, but sweet. Little treat. What do you guys think? It's amazing. It, the date is super sweet, but then the cashew butter adds a richness to it. I really like it. Yeah, peanut butter is good. <laughs> With his mouth stuff. Woo! I'm going to give these other two a try, but off camera. I hope you give these a try. They're super fun, super delicious, and you can get really creative. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, take great care of yourself this week. We really appreciate you being here, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.